Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Haley. Um, and I'm so happy you're here. I'm so excited for today's video. At today's video, I am going to just kind of show you guys like my go-to like makeup look if I'm like going somewhere like fun for the day or maybe I'll even like do this even if I'm like going out or something. Just kind of just like my glowy go-to bronzy type of makeup look. I feel like by now from like all the years I've been doing my makeup, I've like I've been really enjoying the makeup routine that I've been doing and I really just like love all the products that I use. So let's get into it. I already curled my hair um, because I want you guys to get like the full effect. It's like 2.50 right now in the afternoon and I have nowhere to go after this. Like <laughs> absolutely nowhere. I think I'm going to go to the gym after this and so I'm going to be looking glam at the gym. Without further ado, let's get in to my makeup look. I'm going to put these little clips in my hair to keep my hair out of my face. I think you can just like get these kind of clips at like Target or something. Target, Rite Aid. Um, they don't leave a crease in your hair. So. I already washed my face. I normally, like, if I was doing my makeup in the morning, I wouldn't wash my face. I would just, like, put water on it. But it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so I feel like I've just, like, been doing things today. So I just wanted a clean face. Um, okay, so to start with the base, this is what I always will use. First, I'll go in with this CeraVe AM Moisturizer. And this has broad SPF um, sunscreen in it and I love this brand of CeraVe it's like pretty reasonably priced as well and um, it has sunscreen in it which is really good we, we do not want those wrinkles <laughs> when we're older we will not stand for the wrinkles I'm like obsessed with sunscreen I put this on every day um, but I just kind of throw it on my face Next, I'm going to go in with this Super Glow, <laughs> Super Goop Glow Screen. This this is um, SPF 40. So good. I love this because, again, more sunscreen. We need all the sunscreen we can take, people. Um, but I love this because it's, like, kind of shimmery. So I just take, like, that much. And I honestly kind of just, like, use this for extra glow. I even use this, like... Even though it's sunscreen, I even use it still, like, if I go out because I think it's so pretty, the glow that it gives. I'm also going to put this Laneige um, Lip Glowy Balm on. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on because my lips are so, like, dry and chopped. When we went on the bike ride this past weekend, I feel like they kind of got a little burnt. So, I hate dry lips so much. Okay, so, next up, um, we're going to go in with the love of my life, <laughs> which is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Um, it's not a foundation, but people can use I sometimes day to day will use just like this as my like foundation. I'll like rub it in with my hands and I'll do some concealer and just call it a day. But I like to use this underneath my foundation it is so good I have the shade number five um, this it at first it looks like it's a little too dark for my face but when you blend it out it's good but um, I got this color because I like to like I like to use face tanning drops a lot on my face um, and my self tanning cream I use the Lux unfiltered one I've talked about it in another vlog that I'll link all my um, tanning stuff down below because I have that on right now too but I just got a little bit of a darker shade just because I know that I fake tan a lot and um, this will be perfect for summer too it's such a big bottle that it will be perfect for summer and I could just use it in the summer too um, but yeah I have the shade at number five in the flawless filter and I kind of just use this as like a primer I'm literally using the viewfinder as my mirror right now because I'm in front of my window Maybe I'll bring it over. Okay. So I do that. Sometimes I'll rub it in with my hands or use a brush or a beauty blender. 
but I'm going, I think I'm going to use a brush first and then I'll like dab it in with a beauty blender later. But I just kind of blend it in like this. This is so beautiful, guys. Like even, I can't wait to just like use this when I'm like actually naturally tan. And in the summer, it just adds like a really beautiful glowy bronzy finish. Flawless filters on. Next, I'm going to go in with my foundation. One thing from this video that you're going to find is that I love Charlotte Tilbury. And trust me, none of this is sponsored. I don't even have sponsorships at all. Like, I just genuinely love all their products. They're so good. And I just feel like they're really like great on my skin. Don't make me break out. They just like are so like beautiful. I love like all the finishes of all their products. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of just obsessed with that brand. Um, but next I'm going to go in with the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. You guys, this is so good. So this is in a little bit, this is in the shade 4, so it's a little bit lighter. But just like a couple months ago, so like during like the winter time, I honestly probably could use a little bit of a darker shade. But this is pretty good. I And it with um the flawless filter underneath it like counteracts like i feel like it gives me like the perfect color um so i kind of just like put a little bit on the back of my hand and i put it all i don't like to put that much because i don't like to feel like cakey and stuff but honestly foundation does not make me um feel cakey it's really like kind of lightweight and beautiful and then i'll just use this beauty blender to blend it out i use the this is the morphe beauty blender um it's like seven bucks from morphe it's so good so that I can like actually like see up close what I'm doing um to check because I've literally just been doing my makeup through the viewfinder this whole this whole entire time <laughs> next we're gonna go in with concealer I have tried so many different concealers out of all of them this has to be my favorite it is the Ilia um, true skin serum concealer this is what she looks like she is amazing i love this concealer so much i think this is like my third one that i've gone through um i don't even have like day to day i don't even have to put like any foundation on i'll just literally put my moisturizer my sunscreen and i'll do like a little bit on the under eyes oh i almost dropped the mirror i'll put a little bit on the under eyes and we're good to go shade burdock um but yeah, this brand is super good. I love Ilia. I just like to put the concealer oh, like in the corner, the upper corner of my eye, like that. And then I'll do like a little cross in the forehead, a little bit underneath my nose. And I've been liking to do, like, <laughs> I've been liking doing concealer like right here to kind of like highlight the jawline and then I'll just blend all this out with a beauty blender I'm going to set everything so um, I really love like the Laura Mercier powder I'll use that too I actually can't find mine right now but um, I'll normally like just set it with the Laura Mercier powder underneath or I'll use the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder this powder is so good you guys I think I've bought in like four or five of them <laughs> I use the shade 2 which is medium um 
yeah this just gives like a really beautiful like flawless finish as it says in the name <laughs> um, and I'll just use like a little like contour taper brush to set it underneath and basically I just set like everywhere where I put the concealer I want to look so like matted out you know I want to leave a little bit of the glowiness from Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish and I want to leave like some of, from the airbrush foundation too so I kind of just set like the the oily parts of my face kind of and where I put the concealer next for bronzer contour situation I currently have two favorite cream bronzers um, I finally got my hands on the con Charlotte Tilbury contour wands um, that looks like this and it has like the applicator like that these have been sold out I'm not even kidding for months sold out like I'd go up to the people in Sephora even Nordstrom I heard a Nordstrom guy tell a lady the other day that they were like sold out for like the next six months or something but I went to the Charlotte Tilbury store in the Grove and um, they had like four or five of them left and some of my roommates got them and then I got one for my sister too so we completely sold all the wands out at the Grove <laughs> but I I've used this like three times already you guys and it is so good it blends out like butter another one of my ride or die um, cream bronzers that I've been using for like I think I've had this for like two years now um, it's the Chanel de Soleil bronzer you guys this is so good um, but honestly I think they're tied first right now for my favorites honest this might be a little bit up there <laughs> more but they're so good um, but I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury today for you guys because I'm just upset like I wake up in the morning and I'm like <gasps> I get to put my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand on. This is in the shade Fair Medium. So the guy said to get the Fair Medium, like if you want to do like contour and then the darker shade is like more for like bronzer, he said. So I got this one because I'll go in with like a powder bronzer after. really been loving this Charlotte Tilbury like compact bronzer and like highlight duo it's super pretty um and then the other day I used this one I've had this one for so long but it's the Becca um bronzer in bronzed body this one's super pretty in it I've literally used so much of it but it has like a little shimmer in it so we're gonna use this one today I kind of just use like this fluffy bronzer brush and I'm not gonna do too much because the Charlotte Tilbury gave me like a lot of color just to like kind of set it. I also got the blush um, wand from Charlotte Tilbury as well. And you guys, it is so beautiful. This I'll only put like a dot and a half. Um, I like to do a little bit of that, a little bit of that. I kind of just did too. <laughs> Normally for like blending out my blush, I'll just use like a little blush brush. And this also blends out like butter. It's so pretty. And then I'll kind of just like go over everything again with the beauty blender. Really love this Becca. I don't know if they sell this anymore i think i've had this for like four years i'm not even kidding um but it's the becca like contour palette um and i'll just like take two of these 
blush shades and just kind of go over it a little bit just to add more beautifulness <laughs> um, but yeah just kind of set that over and that's pretty much it for the face but the face is done we're gonna move on to eyes I like to keep the eyes like pretty simple sometimes here and there it's like fun to do like fun eyeshadow normally like my go-to is just like keeping it simple um, and just again going for that like bronzy look so I'm just kind of gonna do some like bronzer in my crease and then um, I've really been loving this soft glam Anastasia palette uh, they have all the shades are so beautiful in it. I'll show you guys. I'm gonna draw everything. Um, all the shades are so beautiful in this, but I really love to use the two shades orange soda and burnt orange. I like how the orange looks like with the bronzers, so um, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna use the same bronzer that I used on my face, the Becca one, and I'll just use like a little fluffy brush and kind of just do you want your makeup done? Do you want your makeup done? <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of just mix the two like orange colors and do the same thing. <laughs> I'm like creating like my own little color. Let me guys in a little so you can like, see better. This is really getting up close and personal. Let's do like a little bit under my eye. So I'll just go back in with this bronzer and I'm just gonna like use this little edge and just kind of go like that. I'm just gonna take this little shimmer shade right here in the palette and do a little bit in the corner of my eyes. For my brows I just use the Ride or Die Anastasia Brow Wiz and I use the shade Soft Brown and I kind of just like fill them in to just like kind of darken them up a little bit and to fill in the sparse areas of my brows so I'll do that real quick and we'll do the rest of my makeup. So many different mascaras and I think I found my favorite because not just like because of like how it applies or anything like that but how it comes off I love um, I use the Thrive Cosmetics mascara um, if you guys have heard of like Thrive Mark I have to order this one but this has lasted me like a long time um, if you guys have ever heard of like Thrive Market they have like their own like cosmetic line um, and this mascara is so I don't know if there's like another mascara out there that removes it like this one does sorry the trash truck is coming by I freaking love this one um, it first of all it applies great and second of all it's so easy to come off because like when I'm washing my face I literally just have to like pull it off like it doesn't pull out my eyelashes with it um, I hate when like you're taking off mascara and like so hard to get the like black residue of it off you know you have to like really like scrub at it or like get like a toothpick and stuff this one is just so easy like even if i go in the shower and i'm rinsing off my makeup like it's all off um so nicely and it like doesn't leave like that black like stained residue that's like so difficult to get off i'm gonna curl my eyelashes um i just any eyelash curler is great but i really like this one this one's from tarte
my purse because all of my products are literally in my purse. <laughs> because I, when I go out with one lip gloss, I can't leave the others behind. I am the lip plumping queen. I love my lip plumpers. And if we are like out or something and you need lip gloss, I am always the one to come to because I have literally my whole collection. <laughs> For the lips, I love to keep it glowy, nude, shimmery, plumpy. That's my vibe with the lip plumps. Again, I've tried, <laughs> I've tried a lot of makeup products and the ones that I'm showing you in this video are like all my favorite ones. Um, but recently my obsession has been the Dior Lip Maximizers. Lip um, Maximizers have been my favorite. I have three shades. I have um they don't really have names but i have these three shades so like this one is like a shimmery like kind of nudish brown color this one's a little bit more pink not so shimmery and then this one's kind of a sheer color um but, but my favorite like limp plumpers that i've been using since like high school is buxom i love buxom i have a couple more other shades but i think i left them at school um, but i have this one with me this is in the shade white russian sparkle i love these lip like for the dior ones you can feel the plumpiness but like for these you can really feel it but like it doesn't hurt like i've tried like that Too faced like lip maximizing plumping lip gloss and that one like genuinely hurts my lips i am a huge buxom and dior um lip plumping fan so for my lips i normally like to do like a and i normally like to do a like nude lip liner i've been really loving the charlotte tilbury of course <laughs> i've been loving the charlotte tilbury shades about this one it's in the shade love trap and where's my mirror i'll kind of just outline them a little bit and then smooth it down with my finger I'd say I have like pretty big, like not big lips, but like pretty good sized lips. I don't like really have to like overline or anything. Go in with a lip liner and then I just keep these in my purse for the night and I'll just, whichever one I pick out of the back, no, but I really love um, the Love Trap and this Dior one combined. This is the shade 16. And these lip glosses are so pretty. I kind of killed it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yeah, makeup's done. This is, again, like... Obviously, I don't wear this every day whatsoever but like if i'm going like on a cute day like say like shopping or like lunch or something um or if i'm going like out like to the bars or to like a nice dinner this is my go-to makeup that i will always do all the products that i've used today are ones that i like genuinely like really love and i've found that like really work for me and my skin i've used a bunch of like makeup products that um have broken me out or just like have not been good for my skin but everything that i've used today i really love and i hope that something that i talked about today or showed you um that you try out too because these are really great products thank you all so much for joining me today on my go-to makeup look i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos like this i am more than happy to do that for you guys thank you guys again for watching i love you all so much don't forget to like and subscribe and the thing that i used today i will try to find and link down below so that you guys can literally just click on the link and go and buy it because all these products are so amazing i love you all so much and i will see you guys in my next video go give yourself a glowy bronzy makeup look because you all are queens